Hi there. Today we're going to learn how to add new products into your e-commerce store. So the first thing you want to do is open up an internet browser and for this demonstration I'm going to be uh, using Internet Explorer 7 and uh, you're going to open that up and you're going to put on the domain name, the name of your store and for this demonstration I'm going to be using RJ Buckknives as my demo store dot com and to get to the back end of your login for your website you're going to do slash administrator and it should take you to this screen right here where you can log in with the username and password Oops, sorry about that and this username and password should have been emailed to you by me and if you don't have that please contact me via email so you're going to log in and it'll take you to the back end of your website from here you're going to choose components down to Virtue Mart, and Virtue Mart is the name of the component that your e-commerce store runs on. So from here, you're going to get the Virtue Mart control panel, and all these icons are basically Virtue Mart related. So you're going to choose product list, and on this product list, you're going to see all of the products that are currently entered into your store. So to create a new product, to enter a new product, you're going to select New, Top, and it will take you to this product information screen. Now the first thing you're going to do is we're going to enter each one of these items in here. You want to make sure that Publish is checked, and it is automatically checked as the default. And that basically what that means is that it will allow this item to be uh, visible from the front end. If you don't want it to be visible but you just happen to just want to enter this product you can just uncheck this and the product information will be there but it won't show up on the front end until this is checked. So you want to give it a SKU number and you do want to give it some sort of number at this point otherwise if these fields are not properly entered um, it will not save this product. So you're going to give it the name here, the name of your product. The URL field is next, and what that is, it's, it's basically an area where you can enter a link to the manufacturer's website. And um, this is an optional field, so you don't need to fill one in, but if you do want to fill one in, the format will be www.bookknives.com. You know, or whatever the manufacturer's website link is. So I'm just going to take this out because we don't want one for this demonstration. Okay, and in this next field on the manufacturers, this is a predefined list um, if you have this component within your website. And this one, this store does, and there are already predefined manufacturers that I've entered here, and you're just going to choose the one that relates to the product that you're entering. And down in the category section, which is also predefined by me, um, you're going to choose the category just by clicking on it that best relates to this product or you want this product to fall under. Now, if you want to um, do more than one category, then what you do is you click one item. You're going to hit your control key, and then you're going to select however many categories you want. If you decide, oh, I don't want it to be in this category, then you just take your finger off the control key and you just deselect and select the ones that you want. If you want to deselect one at a time, then you just control and go back to the items. So basically, you're just going to hit the control key to be able to add one or more categories or remove one or more categories. Okay, so the next field here is product price and this is going to be the price, the retail price that you're going to enter. Now if you notice, once I entered a price here, the product grows already calculated. And what this calculated price is, is it is the total price including the tax, which is the VAT ID here. This is the tax ID. So this is already predefined at eight, eight and a quarter percent for California. Discounted field price. This is where if you want to um, enter a specific type of discount for your for this particular product, 
If you don't want to do a discount price for this, then um, you just leave it blank. In this field is you're going to enter the short description of this product. And what I recommend is that you put in a one to two word uh, sentence description for this product because um, this is kind of an important area because when people browse the products on your website, this is the one to two sentences that shows up and that if they click on it, it'll get them into more detail on it. So it's really the teaser text. So it should be rather um, inviting. Okay, and down here you're going to hit product description and this is a editor, a very easy editor that's incorporated in your product information entry and you're just going to enter your long description here and this works just as a very basic editor program um, if you want to bold any of these letters or words you can just select it and click bold if you want to underline it you click that if you want to remove it you just go back over it and click it. You can also change the color of the font at this point by clicking on this A with a red underscore. And once you do that, then a color picker will display and then you can just choose the color that you want this word or sentence to be. There it is, blue. I don't know if you can see that really well, but that is blue. I should have probably did red for visibility purposes. But anyway, so you get the idea. Um, this area here, it doesn't um, have any sort of maximum amount. You can type in as uh, long of a description as possible as you want to. I, I recommend that you um, do put in detailed information on here because this is really what's going to sell your product. Okay, so once you have all that information, then you're, the only other area that you're going to go to is you're going to come up to this tab called Product Images click on that and this is where you're going to upload the image to this product. Now the image needs to be in .jpg format. It will not load or display on your website if it's any other format besides JPG. So that is a universal type of format and that's the one that you want your images to be in. So um, you're going to click on browse and then you're going to locate. It's going to ask you to browse to your desktop or your computer and you're going to locate the image related to this product. So I'm using this one as a demonstration and I found that. And I'm going to say open. When you click open, this, this field file area is going to display here. You just want to make sure that auto create thumbnails is checked. And then once that's done, you're going to hit save. So once you hit save, then this product add results display is going to show up. It's going to show up all the information that you just entered, and it's going to show the thumbnail of your image, and it's going to show your full image. It automatically creates this thumbnail image, so your full image that you're uploading should be relatively large because uh, that's what they're going to be seeing when they do a zoom in on that particular image. So from here, you can just click product list. And if you want to enter another product, you're going to go through the same steps. You're going to click New and uh, pretty much start the process all over again. So that's how you would add new products into your e-commerce store.